Becca Festival officially is underway, and it's the first in-person film festival to take place in North America since the start of COVID. But if you can't or don't feel comfortable going in person, you can hold a screening at home with streaming options. I'm joined now by filmmaker Jonah Feingold. His movie Dating in New York premieres tomorrow online. Hey, Jonah, thanks for joining us. How you doing, Lindsay? Very exciting to be here. Yeah, thank you. So, Jonah, you wrote and directed this film. It's based right here in the city. Why don't you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, it's a romantic comedy, sort of with a fairy tale tone, called Dating in New York. It stars Jabuki Young White, Francesca Rielli, Kat Cohen, Jerry Ferrara, Brian Muller, Alex Mofat from SNL, Ava Victor, Taylor Hill. Great comedic cast. Um, we made it right before COVID started. And we finished post-production during the whole pandemic, and we're premiering on Sunday, 4 p.m. It's very exciting. Oh, I can't wait to see it. And it'll be, people can watch it from home, right? Yeah, they, we're part of their Tribeca at Home lineup, which is basically this curated list of films that are sort of, I would say, very uh, feel-good, comedic, and fun to watch, as you would watch something on Netflix or Hulu or Amazon. Um, 4 p.m., it streams for 72 hours. 15 bucks. It's a great rom com to watch if you're, you know, if you had a long Saturday or you're on a first date or a second date or you're just, you know, eating your bacon, egg, and cheese and you just want something to do on a Sunday. It's the uh, perfect movie for that. All right, cool. Well, Tribeca Festival was, of course, canceled last year because of COVID. Uh, now it's being held a little later than normal uh, and it has more than just films. Plus, there are streaming options like your movie. But what has the process been like being involved with this sort of new version of the festival? Yeah, it's it's been really cool. I mean, they've done an amazing job of adapting to what the festival has become. I believe they like they call it just the festival now because they have so many different outlets. Um, I was lucky enough to go see In the Heights, which was amazing. Shout out to John M. Chu, fellow USC alumni like us. <laughs> um, but it's been great because it's just been a celebration of New York City. And what better way than, you know, they first started the festival after 9-11, and now they're bringing the festival back for its 20th anniversary. Um, post the pandemic and really bringing New York back to life. So I feel incredibly lucky that our film gets to be a part of it. Um, and what a, what a great way to bring the city back to life. Yeah, like you were just saying, Tribeca was created in the wake of the 9-11 attacks to sort of spur the economic and cultural recovery of lower Manhattan and the rest of the city. And then this year, the festival's finale will mark the official reopening of Radio City Music Hall. It's all very symbolic in that way. Tell me a little bit more about, about what that means to you as a native New Yorker yourself. I, I, you know, it is quite literally a dream come true. It sounds cliche to say, but I'm born and raised in New York City. Um, I lived in L.A. for as long as I could, and I came back here, and the second I moved back to New York, we were able to make this movie. It's, it, it could not have gone better, and it could not be going better. And as someone who snuck into, you know, the movie theaters and, the, and this festival in particular as a kid, uh, it's just a dream come true. And we're actually, we just got acquired by IFC, which is a, another New York-based distribution company, and so we'll be playing at the IFC Theater in the fall. And as you can tell by brick walls, you know, New York is the vibe. New York is the thing that we're going for with this movie. Um, so it's just, I, I, it, it's amazing. Yeah, so you, you, uh, you're going to be in theaters soon. It's not going to be just streaming. What do, you, what do you see as like a filmmaker, this uh, future of releasing movies? Is uh, Tribeca kind of showcasing what it could be like? Yeah, Tribeca's lineup this year has so many um, amazing indie movies that also... I think are going to have really strong audiences. I think indie film is, it would be, I'm not saying it's, it's, it's always been here, but people might say it's back. I think post pandemic, we all want to go out and support indie movies. We want to go to the theater again and you have big movies like in the Heights, but I think you're going to see films coming out of festivals, especially like Tribeca, where as an audience, you want to go support indie filmmakers. You want to go experience new types of art, uh, nothing against remakes or sequels. Um, those are really fun, but, I think we're in an amazing position, especially seeing some of my friends' movies that are getting acquired and distributed, uh, that indie movie is here, and it's, it's probably back uh, stronger than ever. All right, well, I am very much looking forward to seeing your movie. People can find it on the Tribeca website. It premieres tomorrow. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Jonah. Thank you. Great to see you, and uh, I hope everyone checks it out. Enjoy.